Are you looking for the best 3D printers? In this video we will look at some of the best 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Anycubic Cobra 3 Combo. The Anycubic Cobra 3 Combo is an exceptional multi-filament 3D printer and is one of a new wave of affordable, high-performance machines that I am seeing. While the design resembles a traditional bed slinger, the solid metal frame has been designed to reduce vibrations and enhance print quality. The addition of the Anycubic Ace Pro multi-filament box in the combo version of the printer that I looked at in the review enabled up to four filaments to be used at any one time, making it an ideal choice for beginners as well as those looking for a multi-filament upgrade on a budget. Number 2. Creality Ender 3 V2. Ever since Creality released its first Ender 3, the Ender series has been one of the most popular 3D printer choices in the low-cost range. In fact, on Amazon's all-time bestseller list, the Ender 3, the Ender 3 Pro, and the Ender 3 V2 have each made it onto the podium. Both predecessors of the V2 are great machines in many respects, but it's the V2 that seals the deal for us. The second generation is an easy recommendation, it builds on the printers that came before it by adding hardware that makes it easier to live and work with. Whether you're entirely new to 3D printing or an experienced veteran, the Ender 3 V2 is one of the best options out there if you want clean prints without hassle. Like the original Ender 3, the V2 here is well regarded for how easy it is to set up, use, and get good quality prints flowing off your tempered glass print bed. The V2 features a better design than the printer that came before it, as well as a 32-bit mainboard and silent stepper motor drivers. You get a respectable 220 by 220 by 250 mm print area to work with, plus a 250 degrees Celsius hot end and Bowden extruder. One of the biggest strengths of choosing this printer is it makes a great base to get into modifications, the Ender 3 community is widespread, which pretty much guarantees there's a forum somewhere where someone can help you troubleshoot an issue, or improve the machine with add-ons and upgrades. Number 3. Anycubic Cobra Max. If large prints are on the agenda, cast your eyes towards the Anycubic Cobra Max. With a generous build volume of 400 by 400 by 450 mm, the Cobra Max stands out even among largish 3D printers of its price class. Whether you want to 3D print life-sized helmets or scale up your favorite models, the Cobra Max offers ample build volume to let your creativity run wild. Be warned though, it's big. The footprint of the machine is 720 by 715 by 665 mm, with a Y-axis that will sling outside this because it's a bed slinger. Make sure you've got the space before pulling the trigger on this behemoth. Neptune 3, the Cobra Max uses an inductive probe for bed leveling. The stain gauge nozzle will probe 25 points on the tempered glass build plate to map out any unevenness, which the firmware will then compensate for at the beginning stages of a print. Manual leveling knobs are notably absent on the Max, but we didn't miss them one bit during our time with it. The auto-leveling worked perfectly, which is essential for a print bed of this size. Number 4. Creality's Ender 3S1 Pro is another top-ranking option in Amazon's bestseller list. For anyone looking to expand outside of run-of-the-mill materials, this is a hot tip. The S1 Pro has a generous 220 by 220 by 270 mm build volume, giving you plenty of room to print lots of interesting things. It's fitted with a Creality Sprite extruder, a specially developed dual-geared extruder for excellent extrusion consistency. We've been impressed by this extruder when we encountered it on the Pro's siblings, the Ender 3S1 and the Ender 3S1 Plus. The all-metal hot end can reach temperatures up to 300 degrees Celsius, so it can print a whole bunch more materials, including nylon, PC, and ASA. If you want to work with abrasive filaments, it's advisable to fit an abrasion-resistant nozzle, as the standard brass nozzles will wear away over time. This is an easy and inexpensive upgrade that will make the machine much more capable. Creality has even released a liquid cooling heatsink kit that can be retrofitted to ensure constant cooling for high-temperature print jobs over a long period of time.